Hello beautiful Taurians, these are going to be your messages for the month of December or thereabouts. Uh, however, if it doesn't make sense to you when you first hear it, do yourself a favor and listen to it a few weeks later. Chances are uh, it will resonate with you then. For those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome. Thank you for coming back. Um, my intention is always to give you something to think about something that can potentially shift your awareness, shift your perspective, which ultimately shifts uh, what you experience, what comes into your life. So with having said that, when I was shuffling cards, I was being given the symbol of number nine. And certain things mean certain, certain symbols mean certain things to me, and it also depends on the situation. But when I got this number nine, I knew that this was a time of letting go. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm also a Taurus, so I, I find doing Taurus sign kind of interesting because I have to work really hard to step out of this reading, if you will, so that I'm not really talking about myself. But what I see here, which is kind of funny, is that everything that is being shown to me is pretty much basically what I'm going through. So uh, chances are many of you will feel the same. So let's start with what is the weather like or what's the what is the what's the what's the word I want to use? What is what is going on in a in a month of December or thereabouts? What's what's the focus? We have the card of uh, empowerment and Empowerment is all about the uh, solar plexus. So to me, the way I feel this is that majority of your time over the next few weeks will be devoted to and or focused on, on you feeling more empowered. What I'm also getting here is that the level of your own power is changing. You are becoming, we are becoming much more in tune and at peace with who we are, which essentially gives us a, a, a deeper sense of, of deeper, 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 deeper sense of, of who we are, a deeper, a deeper appreciation. The more we appreciate ourselves, which another way of saying it, the more we love ourselves, the more grounded we feel, the more embodied we feel, and the more safe and secure we feel in our own skin, which in turn allows us to be much more open with how we express and how we create. Obviously, there's a lot of yellow here. Uh, for those of you who are interested in stones, I feel, or crystals, I feel over the next few weeks carrying with you some sort of a crystal, citrine comes to mind, that's yellow or even orange, uh, but yellow uh, would be very helpful. And uh, I'm being shown that carrying citrine around uh, has will, will draw heavier energy away from you. So it's important for you, if you work with stones, make sure that you when you get it, you clear it and then uh, so it doesn't have anybody else's energy. And then uh, every so often clear it. You can clear it with salt and water, you can clear it with intention, you can clear it with sage, with smoke, with, uh, with the, the moon. There's various ways that you can research, I'm sure. So this to me feels really good. Uh, I have said this many times before, I've had struggles with my own power, with not only expressing my power, but owning my power. It is something that I have been uh, working on a lot and um, essentially is why I do what I do. So I love seeing this. The whole empowerment deal is yes. When we feel more in our power, life just flows a little bit easier, a little bit easier. What else do I wanna say about this card? Pay attention to your breathing. If you tend to be a shallow breather, or if you hold your breath in a lot, make sure you stay, make sure you're mindful of your breathing. When we breathe shallow, we first and foremost don't supply a lot of oxygen to our body. So that in itself will make us feel more tense. When we are more tense, which is the opposite of being relaxed, 
we're not as open to giving or receiving. So empowerment has many benefits, as I'm sure we all know. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that this, uh, this card to me represents on you needing to practice some stillness. You see this elephant is sitting um, in a position that looks like it could be a meditative position, meditative st stance, and his eyes are closed, so he's tuning within. Your power will not come from without you, from outside of you. Your power comes from within you. As a matter of fact, you haven't lost your power. Nobody has taken your power away. You have uh, relinquished your power, so to speak, but you are, you are power. You are a powerful person. You are, you are power, so that cannot be taken away from you. It's just we tend to not uh, express our power. We tend to not own our power. We tend to... Uh, uh, take advantage we tend to be taken advantage of by having other people overpower us so but your power is always within you so meditation is a key component to feeling more empowered very very important and that's a structure that some of you might want to uh, experiment with tuning in in your quiet time spending some time alone where you are focusing only on you and what your body is telling you what your mind is telling you what your heart is telling you what your gut is telling you and really tuning in it with it within and i i know that meditation is not the easiest things for a lot of people for most people that i know of and that's usually because most people when they try to meditate they they think they have to st think of nothing well since the mind is made to think. To think of nothing is still thinking. You're thinking of nothing. However, that's difficult to do. It's difficult to think of nothing. Easier way is to think of something that you want to think about ver versus what your mind wants to think about. So oftentimes, I suggest meditating, starting off, for those of you who are new to meditation, with um, tuning into some uh, videos or, or mp3s there's thousands of them on youtube i'm sure where uh, there's guided meditations not too long 10 to 15 minutes and practicing that way practicing stillness that way so heavy 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 focus on empowerment and empowerment is connecting me to self-reflection so this next few weeks is heavy on self-reflection, on reflecting on yourself, reflecting on your life, reflecting on your priorities, reflecting on what is important to me, and not only what is important to me, but why is something important to me? Because sometimes we tend to do things without even knowing why we do them, or we forget why we do them in the first place. And oftentimes we do things that no longer serve us or things that we don't want to be doing it and doing anymore, but we just kind of are on autopilot. So meditation is a, a key component uh, for that because meditation allows you to find that stillness. And in that stillness, you have all those, you can have, you can find all those answers. I always say to people, my job when I work with people is not to tell you something new, it's to show you where you have your answers already. My job is to help you uncover the wealth of knowledge that you possess. Uh, you just don't know how to get there. So huge, huge focus. Is there anything else? So practicing being still, heavy emphasis on, on practicing being still over the next, over the next uh, few weeks. This could be for a few reasons. Number one, you're all over the place mentally and emotionally. So you need, you need to, uh, uh, you need to, you know, get back to yourself or you are going to be very busy. And if that's the case, if you are very busy, you know, chances are you, you, you might neglect yourself. And that's often when we slip out of uh, feeling aligned or feeling, um, feeling balanced. So if you are very busy over the next little while and we are entering holiday season, make sure you spend time for yourself uh, as much as you need it, as much as, you, as much as you can handle it, as much as you can, uh, as much as you can. Very, very important. So if that wasn't enough, I said, what is this empowerment tied to? What's more information? Seeking karmic balance. 
whatever this empowerment is for you, it is about moving past something that is karmic. So if you have struggled with your own power for quite some time, and it, it comes through in whatever form, chances are over the next few weeks, you will release yourself from this empowerment. And as a result of that, you will be closing some karmic doors. As a matter of fact, the Four of Wands showed up. So for those of you who read cards, you may interpret this card separately. Yes, it can mean that certain doors are closing. For some of you, it can mean that your marriage is coming to an end or a commitment is coming to an end, but it could also be at work. Uh, I'm not predicting people breaking up. If, 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 you, if this is meant for you, then you already know that's the case and you're likely going there anyway. Uh, if you're in a happy relationship, that is not for you. Uh, so several messages. You are closing door to a karmic cycle, uh, which means if you are closing door to a karmic cycle, then eventually certain, certain things will cease to exist in your life because it's time to experience something new. So you may be changing, uh, you may be changing your, your jobs, for example. You, you, or, or, or a change might happen in one of your areas in your life and that will afford you the, oppor the opportunity, is that the right word? That will afford you, yeah, the opportunity to end some karmic cycle. It doesn't have to be something physical. It doesn't have to be leaving a job or leaving a relationship. This just, this just could be you closing a door on a certain way of doing things, on a certain way of relating, on a certain way of believing. Uh, however, because it's number four, and to me four is structure and foundation, this is something that is like a foundation to you. So the way you think, the way you relate with somebody, who you are with, uh, where you are with, what you're committed to. Uh, there is there's, there's some endings here, but these endings, they're, it's about letting go. I don't see them as bad things. I see them as a release. And sometimes we have situations where things happen and we're not really too excited about what's happening, but down the road we realize that whatever has closed the doors on us or whatever we have closed the doors on is a blessing in disguise because it affords us to do something different, to do something better, to do something more meaningful or something that will ultimately make us feel much more uh, at peace, much more content, much happier. And if that wasn't enough, we have the card that denotes an ending of a karmic cycle. So whatever empowerment stuff you are dealing with, and I'm so glad to see this because this also pertains to me. Over the next few weeks, we will be moving past certain obstacles that are connected to our own sense of power, which means we are A, going to be owning our power more, we will be expressing our power more, we will come, we will be uh, expressing ourselves more powerfully, we will bring more power to the table, we will generally become much more empowered individuals. And this is, for most of you, this empowerment stuff is something that you've been dealing with for a long, long time, probably most of your life. For me, it's been most of my life. I have felt very disempowered at a certain point of my life uh, for a very, very, very long time. And it is only literally recently, and I'm talking in a matter of months, where, I mean, it's gradual, but over the last few months, I'm noticing uh, quite a great increase in, in the way I feel about myself and, and my own power. And it takes time. That sort of thing takes time. And the moment we begin to own our power again is the moment where we're closing doors on our old commitments, old ways of doing things, old way of living life. So this is fantastic. This is fantastic. And particularly because December is the last month of the year. So we are approaching not only a new year cycle, but we're also fairly quickly approaching our new cycle as far as the sign is concerned. So if you're born in April or in May, starting April or May of next year, you will be starting your brand new cycle. So to see this to me is phenomenal 
and fantastic. The peacock, peacock shows up. And when the peacock shows up, it's a message of being proud of yourself. It's not the kind of proudness that you stick your nose up and you think that you're better than everybody else. No, being proud by owning your power, being proud of who you are and displaying your gifts. So whenever you see a peacock, males in particular, when they spread their, their, uh, their tails or their, their feathers, they're displaying what they've got. They're displaying their goods. They're trying to show themselves off. So what I feel here is by becoming much more in tune with your power or by allowing your power to, to come in, uh, owning more of your power will allow you to express not only your own beauty, what is outside, but what is inside of you, and in particular, what your gifts. So if you have been hiding, for example, because you have felt insecure or not good enough, and you have certain abilities, certain gifts, certain uh, traits that would be very beneficial for other people to see and experience, then you are more likely than not to come out of hiding with those gifts, with those traits, with those abilities over the next several months. This is fantastic news. I'm getting a message here. Uh, again, we've got the color yellow and green. So um, yellow seems to be dominating here. Yellow is all about uh, solar plexus, which is all about power. Um, what I'm getting here is a lot of you, us, are healing the way we think, the way we think about ourselves. And when I say healing, what do I mean when I say healing? What I mean by healing is you are bringing your thoughts into more of an alignment and um, you're healing your thoughts you're healing your beliefs there's a lot of emphasis of green on the head and the throat and that tells me that your head your intellect and also your throat which is your expression is coming into more of an alignment which absolutely will happen when you become when you feel much more empowered. But what it allows us to do, it allows us to express with less fear, with less judgment, which, with less fear of being judged, with less fear of being, being rejected, with less fear of abandonment. One of my fears that I have been working through in my life is um, uh, fear of abandonment. So even with my spiritual gifts, for the longest time, there's been this nagging thing in the back of my mind that has me questioning everything that comes through me because I am, I have been afraid of being wrong. What will people say? What if people don't like it? I was very, 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 very heavily focused on what other people say. And being that way does not allow my gift to flow through fully because my constant thinking is me constantly stopping myself, which is limiting my flow. So by healing the thoughts and how we express, healing our thoughts will heal how we express. So if you've been holding yourself back in terms of speaking or expressing, chances are over the next few weeks and few months, your ability to express more of yourself, more of your true self, more of your gifts, more of the amazing person that you are will be amplified and you will feel it. You will feel it. And um, this is not the type of feeling where your head grows really big and you think, oh my God, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm better than a cookie of a bag of chips. No, it's not that. It's this quiet confidence that has a certain level of humility with it, but uh, 
the humility is just enough to keep you humble, but it doesn't stop you from expressing. And, and, and I have in the past hid behind humility. I mean, I'm, I'm a humble person to begin with. I've always had this fear of uh, becoming arrogant and I've never ever ever been an arrogant person sometimes I wish I could be uh, I've always been the opposite so the fear I know comes from a different lifetime more likely than not I, not, I have abused my power which we all have because we have to experience a whole bunch of different things so I have um, I have hid behind humility I have put myself down. I have minimized myself when people would say something nice about me. I would say, no, it's not a big deal. But then I realized, actually, someone said to me, Joanna, you're hiding behind your humility. And I thought, wow, it's true. So don't hide, be humble, but don't use humility as a way of hiding from the world or, 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 or from other people. Spiritual practice is another message, and this to me feels fairly straightforward. It is about making sure that you have some sort of spiritual practice. Notice the, um, the yellow again, okay? So the yellow is consistent here. The color yellow is very consistent. Uh, by the way, citrine is also about abundance. So get yourself a citrine. They're fairly inexpensive and carry one with you. Make sure you clean it or clear it. And uh, because that has a tendency that has the vibration of attracting abundance. And I always say the more abundant we feel inside, the more abundance flows through to us or flows to us. That's just the way it is. That's why the idea of, of, of gratitude is, is very important. So having a spiritual practice and having spiritual practice and practicing mindfulness, very, 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 very important always, but particularly over the next few weeks and few months. There is, um, when we practice, when we have a spiritual practice, it grounds us. When we feel grounded, we feel safe. When we feel safe, we feel more secure. When we feel more secure, we feel more in our power. So all these things are connected. All these things are connected. Now, there was a there, seven or seven, eight of wands is what's connected to this card. So to me, for some of you, your there is a change in your work. And I don't necessarily know if this is just in December or it has been changing, but if things at work have not been going the way you want them to, or it's just been kind of, mm, or you're not sure, or you're stuck, I don't necessarily feel this is time for action. This is more time for spiritual practice and the action will happen later. Again, I'm being drawn to spring. Every single sign gets this thing about spring. I don't know what it is about spring, but there is something big happening in spring of next year, 2020. And I've been feeling this for a long, long time. So if you're going through some changes, this could be a career that's going, mm, not in the direction you want. This could be um, this could be something you are involved in, and you're feeling the direction is changing, or the direction of whatever it is you are in, whether it's a relationship, whether it's job, whether it's commitment, is changing, and um, it's on its way out. It's really important to have spiritual practice while you are going through this transition. And then we have a magician. The magician comes up in reverse. To me, it represents a new beginning, but the new beginning is not here yet. So the new beginning is tied to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Whenever something moves away, something else comes in because that's just the way it goes. So there is a new beginning but it's not here yet. This is what you're ho this is what you're heading to, but it's not it's not right away. It seems to be longer term. And then last but not least, the 10 of coins is what comes through. 
So Ten of Coins to me is a card of abundance, monetary abundance. Not only monetary abundance, it is also a card to me that represents one's value. So if we're talking about um, change of career, change of jobs, change of direction, and new beginning, whatever this new beginning is leading to you to is this. It's satisfaction on a physical level, but it's also satisfaction in terms of how you feel about yourself. And as you can see, the way I'm looking at this card, again, there's yellow here. So there's a lot of yellow that's uh, running through these messages. And um, yellow, very important, um, solar plexus. What was I gonna say? Yes, I'm standing in front of this door and this abundance, opulence, is just on the other side of that door. But I'm not at that door yet. So it's still a little while before I reach that threshold. So this is to me a new beginning that is wait, that is in the waiting, that is about to happen. And again, I'm hearing the month of spring. The cheetah is all about focus. However, I feel some of you may not be very focused right now. If you are not feeling focused or if you lack focus or you are unsure what your focus should be, this is where spiritual practice comes in very handy. Because tuning within will generally tell you what the next step should be. And then your head will kick in and try to figure out how to make it happen or how to, how to discount what you feel is right for you. So I don't feel necessarily this, this time of December is time for action. Like I said earlier, this time of December and few weeks is about uh, contemplation, spiritual practice, tuning within, feeling more empowered, cultivating more feeling of empowerment. You get the picture. And then the number seven is being shown. So whenever I see the number seven, it always talks to me about enlightenment. I feel this is a really good time. Good time? Is that how I want to say it? This is a time, energetically speaking, where a lot of abundance can come through. Physical abundance, emotional abundance, spiritual abundance mental abundance to me abundance it's feeling good it's just f feeling good so what was what was i going to say about that because of that thank you it's important to keep your mind focused on abundance because the more you focus on abundance on the abundance that you already have the more abundance can come to you. If you are dealing with something uncomfortable, if something is going, you know, not in a direction that you want, don't focus on what's going wrong. Instead of focus on what is right in your life. And that, you will not deny the fact that something is not going right, but you are not putting all your effort and attention and focus onto it or in it or on it. And as we know, the more we focus on something, the, wo the more we bring that in. So this is, and remember, we are in a karmic cycle or we are closing doors on karmic cycle. So it's important to, 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 to shift our focus away from what has been and uh, in terms of negative or not good and focus on what's positive and what will be. And with that said, I think that's all I have. I hope this was helpful. Please do comment down below. Excuse me, please do comment down below. I leave, read every single one of your comments. I heart every single one as much as I can. Sometimes I'll miss few, so please don't take it personally. I read every single one of your comments. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your subscription, for your, for your likes, for, your, um, for forwarding it to your friends. And um, I wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you are, you are celebrating. I wish you a wonderful time and take care of yourself. Make sure you are mindful and you are cultivating peace through meditative practices or spiritual practices. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.